It's been two years and three months since I've proven that I'm responsible enough to have a puppy. Mama says that it's a lot to handle, but it can't be that bad, right? <laughs> what has you smiling from ear to ear? Oh, nothing. It's clearly something. Well, since you asked, I'm just really proud of myself. These last few years, I've really matured, learned some responsibility, and even learned how to be ready for even more bigger responsibilities. Oh, really? And how's that? Well, to start, I wake up really early. That's to ask me for breakfast. Oh. Well, you know what they say, the early bird gets the worm. Well, I pick up my toys. Um, half your toys, half. The rest you stuff in a corner and act like I don't know. Oh, well, it looks clean when I'm done. I mean, I brush my teeth without you asking. You know, I do have to give you that one. You've been brushing your teeth morning and night. Yeah, then, you know, I will forever since realizing Grammy wears dentures from barely brushing hers. Coco, she did. Well, sometimes. Look, she just started getting older. Give Grammy a break. Okay, okay. Well, the main responsibility that I have proven to achieve is growing plenty. He's doing great. I'm pretty sure that plant is dead. No, it's not. Coco, you can't even take care of yourself. Let alone a plant. I'm, I, I'm sorry, but this was an A and B conversation, so you could see your way out. Uh, stop you... it, stop it. That's inappropriate, so stop. Who is teaching you that stuff? They said it at school. Well, don't repeat it, especially to your sister. I, I apologize, Aubrey. It's over. Now wait, let's give Coco a chance. You know, now that I think about it, I haven't even seen that plant around. Well, that's because I was trying to show everybody that I could be responsible and help Planty grow healthy and strong. I gotta see this. <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> you want the dog and the next you don't please mama a doggy will play with me ari and ria they're too big now they never want to play <sighs> here we go with the guest trip oh, i'm serious every time i ask them to play they say they're busy well coco i mean they're just a little older than you that's all so i can get a puppy yes really mm -hmm. yes a toy puppy we'll go pick one out at the store Care of a puppy when you don't even take care of Mr. Plant. What you talking about, Willis? <clears throat> okay. So, Mr. Plant, he knows that all he has to do is tell me that he's thirsty and I'll give him some water. There have been days that I personally have went to him and I said, Hey, Mr. Plant, are you thirsty? And guess what he does? He just ignores me. So, I walks off. <laughs> You know very well plants are not human and they can't speak. Oh, um, I thought I heard a heartbeat. No, you didn't. Look, you have not proved that you're responsible enough to take care of Mr. Plant, so you won't be getting Mr. Ruff anytime soon. Capiche? Okay, wait, 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 wait one second, Mama. I think you're moving too fast. Now, you know if you give me a puppy, then they'll teach me how to be responsible so I can take care of a plant. How, Coco? The plant is low maintenance and it's a fight for you to water it weekly. So how are you gonna walk, feed, and love on a dog? 
Well, um, as far as the walking, I figured that you could do that most of the time. And then with feeding him, I could do that on the fly. And whenever you make food, I could just give him that off my plate. And then as far as love, well, that's easy. I'm Coco. <laughs> so, you know, I'm going to rub his head. I'm going to play with him. We're going to make jokes. And then I'm going to slam him on his face when I'm sick of him. And then in the morning, we start all over again. And then that's it. Constance Street, do not play with me. Look, a dog needs a lot of time and attention, and I don't have time to give it any of that. Oh, not my government name. <laughs> How could you just leave a poor doggy in the shelter like that? He needs you. <laughs>